Trump 2020. So yes, I'm going to make a video about President Trump. I asked on Twitter uh, what I should talk about and the majority by far voted for President Trump. So here we go. So in the beginning of 2017, I made two videos in Dutch about President Trump. One was about his election and the other one was about his first weeks. And now it's three years later. So maybe it's good that I give you a little summary of what has been going on. Um, I've been watching and following President Trump since he uh, announced that he was running for president. I watched all these live uh, rallies every day. It was like crazy. He was going all over, taking his plane. So many positive and happy people that for me, it was, it seemed compared to Hillary Clinton, President Trump uh, was doing much more and was much more active. And he got many more people at his rally. So I was like, he's going to win. And he did. Even though 95% of people said Hillary Clinton was going to be president, it turned out to be President Trump. The moment he was uh, nominated as the Republican Party candidate, the media changed because before that, everybody was excited about President Trump and he was invited to every show to talk about his policies and what it would mean if he was president. The moment he was nominated as Republican candidate, everything changed. The media was suddenly against him, very negative. Then of course we hear the, the grab a buyer tape from like years ago. It suddenly was uncovered and it seemed like that would probably hurt his campaign and his chances to be president. But he came out, he apologized. He didn't actually grab someone there. The elections happened and like I said, I watched everything and it seemed to me that he was he had a really good chance. So he became president. I was like not surprised. And then everybody was suddenly surprised. I was like, that's weird because it was so obvious that he did everything he could to become president. It became so vile and so hateful. It was about his looks. It was about his family. He was racist. He was a bigot. He was everything you could think of that was bad. That was him, he orange man bad. So I didn't understand why did the media turn on him like that? When he was one of the candidates that could become a Republican nominee, it was all fine. And suddenly all these big media outlets, the worst covers, it was like terrible. I just didn't understand how people could be so mean and so low and vile. What did he do? And why didn't they complain before he ran for president? Because let's be serious, he's been in the public eye for years. Why didn't anybody say anything about uh, these things before? Why is he now suddenly a racist? Why is he suddenly a bigot? Before President Trump said he was gonna run for president, I didn't particularly like him or dislike him. I just knew that he was there. All that I knew was that we have the same birthday, 14th of June. His daughter was a model and she started at the same time as when I started. So I saw her a lot in the magazines when my pictures were in there, her picture in there. But I didn't really watch The Apprentice. I didn't really watch the Miss Universe pageants. So he was just one of those famous people on TV. He was actually always on the news in every program. He was in Saturday Night Live making funny sketches. He was just one of those celebrities. And now suddenly, because they don't like his policies or that he's running for president, suddenly everything turned around. For me, it, it was really like shocking. And I just wanted to see what he would do as a president. And now we're three years later and a lot of the promises that he made, he really tried to make them come true. These people that are against him are so vile that whatever President Trump does, even if it's something good, they will make it sound like it's terrible and awful and he's bad. It, it be, they become so negative. It's like nagging. And, and while the, the Trump supporters here in America, they're all having the best time. I mean, you cannot deny that the economy has been going well for three years. You cannot deny that the stock market has been going up and up and up. You cannot deny that everybody in America is doing better, meaning there are more jobs. I can give you all the, the official 
numbers, but I think it's like 7 million more jobs created. 7 million more jobs created since election. More Americans are now employed than ever recorded before in our history. More than 400,000 manufacturing jobs created since this election. And let me remind you, President Obama said that those jobs would never come back to America. They did. Every level that he should work on, he's really done a lot of good. The poverty rate fell to a 70 year low of 11.8%. On the website of the White House, you can find all the statistics. Trump also appointed five openly gay ambassadors. One of them is Richard Grinnell in Germany, I believe. Together with, with Grinnell, Trump is leading a global initiative to um, decriminalize homosexuality across the globe, which is a great thing because a lot of countries, gay people are not safe and President Trump thinks that's terrible. So he's working across the globe to make this stop. Of course, when you read all these statistics, you understand why so many women, gay people, African-American people, so many people support President Trump. It's not just a few people, it's millions and millions of people. He was voted in with 63 million people. And I think the next election, he will probably get a support of more people. I, I would be surprised if it's not because there's not much that is going worse. A lot of things in America are actually going better than before. I will put the link with all the achievements of President Trump underneath this video so you can actually click on there and read yourself what he has achieved in the past three years. So basically more jobs, people have more money in their pocket, up to thousands of dollars each year, less unemployment, especially in the African-American Hispanic community. I do understand a lot of people hate Trump because it's very hard to like somebody if the whole media and all these celebrities are always telling you that he's a bad guy. And the only way you can know that someone is not a bad guy is if you watch live rallies. And that's what I did. I watched every day. I just see what President Trump actually says himself. What I think is great about his president, he's probably the most transparent president. You know exactly what he's doing. He doesn't need a press officer anymore because he just goes on Twitter and he lets you know exactly what he's doing. And of course the establishment doesn't like it because they cannot control him. And that's what I like. I like it that nobody can control President Trump. Really like people that are just saying what they think because I'm the same. Do you really think that all those millions of people that they're all extreme or right wing? No, these are all very normal, hardworking people that just love their country. They love America to be first. Personally, I think a leader of a country should always have his or her own people uh, put first because that's why they are a leader. They're not a leader of another country. They're a leader of their own country. What I noticed the past three years is a lot of people that are against him suddenly realized that, yeah, there was a lot of propaganda and I've been lied to and maybe he's not as bad and maybe his policies are good. And maybe these people that said all these bad things, maybe there's something wrong with them. That's what I notice a lot. Um, in 2016, the election was a fair election. There was no Russia. It was all a hoax. It was all made up because they didn't like that he won. A lot is still coming out. It's very interesting to see, but it appeared there was some kind of insurance policy that in case President Trump would be elected, that they would find a way to get him out of office or get him impeached. His campaign was spied on based on a fake dossier and came up with all this BS, things that are not true, trying to get a FISA warrant. They got it so they could spy on Trump. And still with everything they did, that they couldn't really find anything because uh, the Mueller report uh, came out and it stated that President Trump didn't do anything and didn't collude with Russia. That was just a story they made up. But still people think that, that it happened, but it didn't. And then three years later, they start a different hoax. They start the impeachment sham. For me, I was like, there we go again. Because from the moment President Trump was elected, they tried everything to undermine him. They tried everything to find anything to get him out of office. It doesn't matter that he's donating all his, uh, his money that he makes as a president to good charities. It doesn't matter that he won in a 
uh, legitimate election. Doesn't matter. They want him out, but it's not going to happen. They can try to get him out because they don't like it, but they just have to wait for the next election and vote. And if they lose again, then wait another four years. That's how a democratic process works. Try to open your eyes a little bit and see what's really happening and stay focused on the, on the bigger picture. That's what I can advise you. Do you remember this? This came out in 2008 when President Obama was inaugurated and it has all these amazing pictures of President Obama and Michelle Obama. And I remember where I was when um, the elections happened in 2008. I was with friends in New York City and he won because at that moment I thought he was the better candidate of the two. With every election, you should just look at the candidates and choose the one you think is best. And I thought President Obama would be the best thing for America. He won, we were like all excited and celebrating. And then on the street, I heard all these people, you know, honking horns and uh, screaming, Obama, Obama. And it was so, everybody was so excited. So I had really big hopes. In my opinion, I'm, I was a little disappointed with um, some things. There were little things that I liked, very detailed things like he was saying that all dogs should be treated equally. Uh, he came out with a statement saying that pit bulls and all other dogs should all be treated the same and not because they have a certain look, which I think is a great statement. So for me, that's his legacy that he came out and spoke in support of dogs of all breeds. But in the bigger picture, I think he could have done more for his hometown of Chicago and the inner cities, the his own African-American community. So I was a little disappointed. And now President Trump is actually doing much more for the inner cities. I don't know if you're aware, but he put um, a neurosurgeon named Ben Carson, an African-American man who grew up in the inner cities in uh, social housing, and he put him in charge of social housing. So he's really trying to clean cities and areas in America. I was talking about how bad they depict Trump in the media. And it's like every newspaper, like this is New York Post and like always making a, a headline that's with Trump looking really bad. It's never a positive thing. I was subscribed to New York Magazine and for over 10 years, but after the third mean cover about the looks of Trump, I just had to cancel it. I couldn't take it anymore. I didn't save this magazine because Trump is on the cover, but because I was in the newspaper with my previous dog, Vito, a bull terrier together with Mark Jacobs and his dog, Neville Jacobs. So that's why I saved it. Another thing that I want to show you is I go to these protests in New York. Of course, New York is very um, left leaning. So uh, you have some protests. I have to say overall living in New York, it's very peaceful. There's less protests, uh, wild protests. Like I remember under President Obama, we would sometimes have Black Lives Matter protests and they would run through the streets and it would feel a little dangerous. That in my opinion hasn't happened. So they're more located and centralized in the parks, but they're very creative. Like the signs that they come up with, they're sometimes so bad and so mean, but sometimes I'm amazed by the creativity. One time I went to a protest and they actually made a future newspaper, the Washington Post, unprecedented. Trump hastily departs White House ending crisis. Celebration break out worldwide as Trump era ends. This is literally like a whole newspaper that they made, a fake one, one that would be uh, if Trump would resign, which he won't, but there's here too, from me too, you're fired. The actions that turned the tide, women took the lead in ousting Trump. So how DC stepped up to shut down Trump. I mean, this is a newspaper that they made up. Like someone actually sat down and made up this whole fake newspaper talking about fake news. We did a test and when you wear a red uh, hat with Make America Great Again, some people are really mad and can get angry and can actually become aggressive. So it's not really smart to wear a hat when you're alone because I've seen the aggression. Yeah, that's not a smart thing to wear it, but uh, 
there are a lot of undercover people supporting Trump. My experience here is that there's in New York City a lot of people undercover. Uh, also uh, African-American people, the people that you actually think would not support him, they support him because they see the policies, they see what it's doing for their communities. One time there was a woman and she was like, yeah, I can't really say it aloud, but because you just talk about it, yeah, I want him to uh, win again. Uh, it's taxi drivers, especially immigrants that came the legal way uh, and who are waiting for a green card. Because I can tell you from experience, waiting for your green card, it takes a long time. And I notice all the people that have a green card and came the legal way, you know, feel blessed that they're part of America. They support President Trump. And they don't want people coming in and uh, skipping the line. And while they spent so much money and time and waiting for years to get it. Yeah, immigration, everybody is welcome, but just have to come the legal way. And I know it's hard, but that's just the way to do it. What I think is funny is that a lot of people want to come to America still. If it was such a bad place, why do people still want to come? And all those celebrities that said they were going to move, nobody moved. Actually, I hear that people that moved away are coming back like Meghan Markle, for instance. So yeah, there must be something good going on. In the next video, I will talk more about, uh, go in depth in, in different policies. I just wanted to give you a little overview of this video of uh, Trump and why life in America is not that bad and why President Trump is not that bad. Yeah, my tip is just listen, just read what he writes, just uh, listen to what he says, the full on videos, not the cut out pieces. The one other thing I wanted to say is for me, the past three years up to uh, December 31st, 2019 was very predictable. The first thing that happened that was not predictable was what happened in Iran. And we don't know how that is going, but that was the first time that I was like surprised. And I think everybody was shocked that it happened. With that one, I have to see uh, how how it will turn out to be because the other things, the results and reaction and his actions were very predictable. He said that before he was uh, elected. But on the other hand, he also said America first and nobody is attacking America and there won't be another Benghazi. So 2020 is going to be very exciting with the elections and uh, I can't wait. I'm going to have the TV on the whole day, every rally that Trump is doing, whether it's in Colorado, Texas or Minnesota or wherever, um, it will be an exciting time. And I think you should stay tuned, but I hope that people, even if you don't like him, he was elected fair and square. Just be nice. Don't talk about his looks and it's boring. It's redundant. He's a human being. He's president. He did something amazing. He defeated everybody. For a lot of people, he's probably already the best president in their lifetime. And you have to accept that a lot of people feel that way. So I'll talk to you soon, more about Trump and other subjects. And I hope you subscribe, like, whatever you have to do when you have a YouTube channel. They always ask you to do things. So please do that. And I will see you soon. That's the it, of 2016 when President Trump actually, uh, was he in build? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was my dog. And he just said, uh, hi, he isn't. That's my dog. He has an itch. Is he back? No, yeah, baby. Want to shh. Je moet stil zijn, Ben. Ga maar slapen. Met je good boy. <laughs>